तो दोस्तों सेक्स चल रहा है कि नहीं भाई के पास तो प्रूफ भी है देखो मैं पिलो लेके बैठा हूँ वैसे यूट्यूब पोल वॉट इज अनिर गुड है सेक्स किडनेपिंग old woman behind a field dude fuck that was crazy not, that's a dream how else do yeah. british people lose yeah. virginity this is, like this is the son of diana okay. <laughs> 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 he was a I just hope that is not what he asked the old woman to call him like <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. just hope <laughs> one of the most craziest um, sex fact that i recently read was in a book called a billion wicked thoughts okay, mm. okay. and us mein the i ki every country has a different kind of perversion that they look up on yeah. google yeah. Mm. so there is one country in africa that looks up for grandmother related oh. porn okay said the man from the country with savita bhabhi <laughs> the second one <laughs> is britain in the list of countries who look for grandmother related Ooh. porn and the the explanation that they said was in that south african country grandmothers were responsible for teaching their grandsons how to ah. behave with a woman ah. so they were technically the first people to guide Sex them ah. and okay. in britain the, the history is not the queen. <laughs> <laughs> फर्स्ट विमेन that they think of sexually hmm. so there's oh, older woman fetish that's why all these british guys keep getting caught at all these clubs getting like spanked and humiliated <laughs> yeah, and stuff correct. like that that makes yeah, sense correct. oh yeah. shit it's all what you're taught in your school oh man. shit so yeah. as kids like as babies they are with those nannies when they are in their like uh, early like 3 4 year old tabhi se they start oh. are they still breastfeeding or <laughs> no not no, yet no, no, no. i hope not is it like a has bahut kat ke wala that that's where you went first yeah exactly yeah. i didn't research <laughs> yeah. that much into like, that just for nostalgia they are you know <laughs> It's cool that you're doing podcasts as reels now. Yeah. I think man, it's a new format. This, this one going to be a tough one to edit. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it all starts in school, is what you're saying? Huh? Huh? Yeah. So it all starts in school. The earliest fantasies kind of are based in what you are exposed oh, to in school. Oh, that's why I get horny whenever someone says chikoti. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. What did you think? That makes sense. I've been worried about this for so long. It's the PT yeah, teacher for me. <laughs> <laughs> What was what did you say? Can you repeat that? Uh, so your That's sexual what? fantasies are kind of based on what you're exposed to when you're a kid. So that that this does have like a your impact. Your teachers, your mm-hmm. teachers, yeah. So then this is kind of also like you crave the kind of relationship that you had with your primary caregiver, or the opposite of what it was like with your primary caregiver. Yeah, so this is like a very roundabout way of saying daddy issues. Mom <laughs> issues, yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if if you are not treated well from your father, then are you? What are you attracted to mostly then? By whoever is your new daddy. So it 
Yeah. I'm guessing. I don't Is know. Is that how BDSM and all this starts? I'm looking at Siddharth Warrior. <laughs> I'm not the expert <laughs> as far as these topics are concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but no that there is some point to it that when you grow up you associate certain comforts with your parents and mm-hmm. your teachers so if you like that that's what you look for in a relationship and at right. some point everything becomes all connected right in fact mm-hmm. the baseline of sexual pleasure is actually food 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 so then because that is the first desire that any kid or any animal any infant has yeah. it's food it's hunger so everything gets associated with food and mm-hmm. so when later on they want sex the same networks in the brain are still acting that's why you eat pizza <laughs> <laughs> we can edit that to pizza i think <laughs> <laughs> when you said okay yeah. <laughs> just put a small pizza on some as house just small just put my voice of me saying pizza <laughs> The amount of edits we have to do in this. Yeah, yeah. We have to dub <laughs> for why, this podcast. Why do we have to edit any of this? That's fair. There's a pussy yeah. right here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Arya's like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, the reason why we have to edit is so my retention is high. <laughs> Every two minutes, if huh. we say something, I like that you're talking of retention in a sex video. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, the sex and there's too much sex. <laughs> Half yeah, of the audience won't retain throughout this. But video. there is something. But, there is something about the word pizza mm-hmm. that is the repulsive. In general, we got a, like genitalia need yeah. better words. Yes. All right. Yeah. Like I don't know need better association words, but just better words. What's yeah. wrong with pizza? People find it harsh on the ear. Also, mm. because there's a lot of cultural negative associations with it, right? We've seen it so much in like the pornographic right. context and mm. this and that, right? Yeah. And it's never pleasant. And this, I'm not even saying funny. It's never like oh, loving couple has sex. It's always pizza, smash, <laughs> <laughs> right? Chick nailed, yeah. right? It's like, yeah. like sex carpentry. What is happening? <laughs> no idea. And drilled. <laughs> and I'm not being funny Hammer. about that. The language yeah, yeah, yeah. is so that, hard, right? Yeah. The language yeah. of pornography is so, so hard. hard. That's harsh. True. Pure right. power yeah. dynamic language. It depends right? on what you're into, right? Like I'm into. So soft massage form. So that's great. Then yeah. you're very likely to find. Like for example, one of the most like this thing because I mean, pornography is obviously a gateway, right? For a lot of people, before actual sex happens, any of mm-hmm. that happens, pornography happens. One of the biggest changes in my life was switching from traditional porn sites mm-hmm. to artisanal Reddit porn. <laughs> All right, because a lot of this is people posting themselves, and the commenters are redditors. So they'll put up posts with things like, "I was feeling shy, but here's my first photo." And then the first comment is like, "Hey, you have no reason to feel shy. Yeah. You know, you're beautiful, and awesome. you should really feel this thing and whatever." And I'm like, "Man, how? This is the first time I'm not immediately sad post nut. You know, <laughs> like there's so much wholesomeness <laughs> also happening here. Like the comments are so the language yeah. genuinely, and while it does sound funny, is such different language from the language saying. Correct, correct, correct. Like yeah. because when we were 15, 16, like man, you got to be honest. So much therapy has to undergo. The language of porn was terrible, oh, yeah. Yeah. like really bad. Yeah, like from that perspective. Right? The, one yeah. of the problem is that sex doesn't have a verb, so the only verb we have is fuck. Mm. It's such a lack, you know, when you think of it, mm. because so how fun. do you say having yeah. sex? Yeah, having Correct, sex. but it's it's a noun. Like you've had yeah. you like you've had yeah, food, you've had verb? sex. What's the verb? To uh, sex. <laughs> बट अगेन लाइक यू टॉक अबाउट पॉन लाइक आई फील लाइक जो सेक्स में जो मजा आता है वो तो आता ही है बट देर इज अनदर प्रेशर इन योर हेड अबाउट कीपिंग द अदर पर्सन है it's just me it's all me <laughs> me like i don't care about that girl who i'm watching or that dude or anyone right. else right. so i feel that is much more gives me more joy than sex hmm. because See, sex that person that left the comment is a better person than me <laughs> <laughs> Is that person was like you know what no it is not all about me <laughs> I'm going to thank this person but match <laughs> back pleasure yeah. I'm saying like purely enjoyable yeah. Yeah. yeah you're Maza saying like hilane mein maza aata hai bhai hilane mein maza aata hai but the darker side of that is you grow older you learn this is also a link between depression and relentless masturbation <laughs> and so I would urge you to look into that like the the clarity has to come post nut mm. if you're sad pre nut then don't masturbate <laughs> like, right you're yeah. supposed to be sad immediately after I would like to bring conversation back to that warrior yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, speaking sorry, of post nut clarity, 
so sex and food the connection is that in the brain the same networks are active so if you are hungry at 2 am right and if you are horny you can't be sure that you are not hungry right <laughs> there is a very very good chance that you are hungry but mera kabhi boner khatam nahi hota khana khake then it doesn't satisfy the then you thing. need to uh switch on prawn hub or whatever prawn hub prawn hub yeah prawn hub so prawn hub is perfect like it combines both food and sex you know? yeah. hey, i didn't understand uh if you're horny you're also hungry like I, what does that mean no no point is that when you are looking for something look okay, i forget forget you like go back to evolution right mm. right you want to be alive so you want to eat mm. but you want your species to be alive so you want to find a mate correct both of these are motivations sure that's what keeps you going and both of those motivators are running on the same dopamine cycle at the end of the day the same networks are pushing you towards both so mm. whether you're hungry or whether you're looking for a partner those same dopamine networks are acting this is like the gambling and falling in exactly. love exactly yeah. exactly when you say that you are hungry that hunger could be for what mm. so if you've seen literature like hungry for sex is also a term horny horny so then horny becomes hungry for sex but like those two are very clearly different feelings no mm-hmm. like hunger you feel here <laughs> yeah no, horny you don't feel there no mm. yeah we are talking about in the brain this is similar to uh, the feeling of gambling is the same feeling that's evoked when you first start when you're infatuated or you first start first start dating it's like your motor yeah. cortex is used when you listen to music or when you're moving you're picking picking things up basically brain mein sirf paanch che cheeze hi hai jiske through sab kuch jana padta hai or something like that am i right uh, no but that's <laughs> I was, yeah, I was yeah, trying to I was trying to simplify I was, I was trying to simplify gambling dating similar hai dono mein paisa khatam ho gaya brain space ne bola isi ne sikha oh man <laughs> andrew huberman if he ever watches this <laughs> kya sikha raha hai yaar in logo ko what is common between gambling and falling in love you lose money in both <laughs> that is wow wow life experiences nice. poetry also <laughs> nice. poetry by some wow, but anyway amazing. i still don't understand fully what you're saying here because theek hai dimag mein same jagah pe dono cheeze feel hoti hai but the feelings are different no okay think of it this way when you are say horny now the chances are that the thing that made you horny that first stimulus probably came to your head like half an hour ago or 45 minutes ago and that thing circles around in your brain without you being conscious of it and then finally at a subconscious level you feel horny and then you act on it there is one point where your brain is actually just exploring mm. your whatever you are paying attention to so you are working and for some reason your attention shifts from there now it is exploring ki acha agal bagal mein kya hai what can i what can i pay my attention to and whatever stimulates you then will take you in that direction so if right. some thought comes or you're scrolling on instagram and some model pic comes up that starts that first chain mm. of events that will then lead to you mm. feeling horny like half an hour later mm. i have felt this you're a married man <laughs> <laughs> but so just he's because he's married horny, yeah. he's allowed to be okay, horny yeah. that's but completely fine other head. women's pics and all no no i felt this that like say in middle of the afternoon i'm horny okay yeah. and uh, then i often think he should i do it now or should i have a vada pav like does the vada pav work I don't really know <laughs> but like if you're horny and you eat just generally being fuller makes me less horny <laughs> Of course generally right yeah yeah that one for sure and two i'm guessing is also an element of now attention hat gaya na wahan se correct like right. in the sense like now i'm yeah focused on i mean also from a blood point of view because when you're horny the blood is going to your penis so, but when you're eating the blood is also going to your stomach so maybe the blood flow is lesser in your no no it doesn't so if you have already had like if you're already having an erection hmm. that is way down the line to fir to you are <laughs> you okay, have sex almost there right. right exactly so horniness is usually just a state of mind so that's called arousal horniness right. is a state just like poverty <laughs> 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 to quote that to so, quote a very wise man quote, yeah. hmm. so if you're going down on a woman then you're getting satisfied like fully like you know, <laughs> horny bhi ja raha hai aur hungry bhi khatam ho raha hai right yes Haan, everybody is course. everybody wins yes if i'm a sapiosexual Oh. Do I have to wear a condom while fucking the brain, <laughs> <laughs> or reading a book, or reading a book? You have to first change your bio. Hey, what does sapiosexual mean, and what does it mean like in your head? So sapiosexual is a 
you have to add that to your Tinder bio. I yeah, think yeah, that's that the rule exactly now. That's yeah. a signaling thing. Yeah. That's a signaling thing, which okay. is that I'm smart. Hmm. So, sapiosexual, the definition is that you are attracted to intelligence. So, if somebody sure. is talking very intelligently, somebody is, you are attracted to somebody who can teach you something or who knows something okay. that you don't. You're fucking hard as fuck, man. If you are sapiosexual, <laughs> I am irresistible. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're driving me crazy, bro. Why does this happen? That's an evolved response because now... It's a PFC thing. It's a PFC thing, but why would women be attracted to tall, muscular men? Because evolutionary. Evol- evolutionary, yeah. Why? Uh, safe, can, safety protection. Safety protection. They can hunt in the back in the day. Probably. Correct. Yeah. So, throughout these years, the brain has kind of evolved to respect or want that. In the last hundred years, what are the skill sets that can really get you safety, comfort? Streaming, brother. Streaming, yeah. sure. Like, now it's a th- intelligence jo- stream. Jo- jocks are out, nerds are in. This is it, right? right. So yeah. the cerebral, in- cerebral capacity. Intelligence has a role to play. Like, intelligence can keep you safe. And so, that is what the sapi sexuality is just going to keep it's just going to get bigger and bigger so okay, i'm exactly. like i'm a die <laughs> 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 no, sense, sense of humor sense of humor is a big marker of intelligence. Oh, which is why some will also die. <laughs> <laughs> Bullying, man. <laughs> you are sitting on the Kulu chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting on the Kulu chair. I'm, I think I'm gonna now sexually be attracted to bullying. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a shame that you've just That's lost so much weight and you're working out yeah, and now well, suddenly yeah, you're because because some is primary caregiver, me. He's <laughs> 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 <is> bullying you. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm losing weight because again. For sex only. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you have like uh, better sex when you lose weight, I think. Of course. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, working, I'm working on it. Guys. <laughs> the mechanics of it is better. Yeah. The mechanics is better. You can, I think you can carry your own weight literally. In a sense, you're better. also just like basically just extrapolating basic athletic skill. Right? Yeah. It is essentially an athletic act. We are yeah. two Achha. steps away from discussing aerodynamics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, there's no, less resistance. You don't have to shave your armpits. <laughs> 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 Sit by. Uh, bro, uh, why is it that Men have only one orgasm, but women can have multiple. Is it something around the brain? Because first hmm. of all, I let hear me out. Okay, I will. More pressure on man. Somehow, if I come before her, then I'm not like I'm not satisfying her. She, if she comes before me, that's never gonna happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I always have the pressure. You have to last long enough. Uh-huh. So that she is completely satisfied and then I come. And men do come a quicker, right? And yeah. women can do it multiple times. Like yeah. we can do it once, then we have to take a break and then before... There is a very cool thing called uh, sexual refractory period. Okay, mm. so just after you've had sex, you can't perform for a while. Women don't have that. Or at least most women don't have that. Or if they do, they have it in seconds to minutes. So women are ready to go again uh, much more quickly. Mm. Uh, the reason for this is, again, like evolutionarily... Most animals will mate with multiple people during that time. They are only in heat for a little bit of time. Mm. So then they can have other people, other Mm. males come and uh, have sex with them. The male, on the other hand, there is a, uh, right after you have sex, there is this uh, hormone called vasopressin Mm. that goes up. And that's what keeps you from getting hard. But that also increases your aggression. So at that time, if some other male will come in, then you get... Of course, I get mad. I'm hoping just after I had sex. I don't want the other male to come at that time. I'm the only male who's coming. You're not even hard. (laughs) The point of sex was never to satisfy either person. No, but there's a pressure I'm saying from the society point of view. I I don't feel it. But the. Like in movies. He's taking this up on behalf of others. Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not me. It's just, yeah. no, but it wasn't a good question though. It was, it was yeah. <laughs> so Sangship me, hmm. why do why can women have multiple orgasms? Uh, because unka vasopressin ka activity itna nahi hai, so hmm. they are still excited. And if you are excited, you can have multiple orgasms. Is Even a, men can. Is there a way to remove this vasopressin? No, you can't. You don't want to remove it. <laughs> You need that for a lot of other things. When else is vasopressin released in the brain? Lots of times. Like uh, everything from flirting to sex, uh, vasopressin keeps acting. What is vasopressin's purpose? So you've heard of oxytocin. Fucking vasopressin. You know what? I I love that in our discussions, each of these hormones become they they get like a person. They have a character. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a character. It's Some like, I saw a very different version of Inside Out. <laughs> yeah. You remember oxytocin from our talks? Yes. I'm going to tell you again. Yes. Oxytocin is the ba- uh, bonding hormone. Mm. Okay. Right? So oxytocin makes us all feel like we are in a group and we feel love and we trust each other mm. and all. Cuddling, that. cuddling. Cuddling. Ah, of course. <laughs> so cuddling me <laughs> <mein> ho hota hai. <laughs> yeah. So right after sex, mm. oxytocin shoots up. 
Correct. Earlier for women and for men it happens a little later. So hmm. there is a little bit of discrepancy hmm. right after sex. Some make it be zindagi solve ho gaya. Samajh mein aa raha hai bro. Like she wants to play and I want to like In play some chess and then <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. you yeah. get your oxytocin from uh, seeing you go on this journey right now. Samay hum log PUBG khel raha tha jab side pe ye sab seekh raha tha. Same time pe ho raha tha ye. टीम and one of the roles of vasopressin is to modulate that because otherwise we become very it's like hulk and black widow yes <laughs> coming down yes it's like hey big guy sun's getting sun's low sun's getting low. <laughs> like right basically that's what it is black widow yeah. is like let's not, let's not break some <laughs> sorry yeah. one another but does this make sense i don't follow marvel so much but yeah but, but does the neuroscience part make sense this is making sense like yeah. i'm like fuck kullu right now like you know? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, one is volatile and one is like a stabilizing agent. In a sort way. of, yeah. Okay. Is there anything different happening in our brain in terms of the chemicals released, all these endorphins released while having sex and while masturbating? Oh, I love that question. Mm. It's very similar because our brain has not evolved to masturbate actually. Mm. But mm. masturbation, even in animals, so animals also masturbate. I don't know if you recently saw this video of a seal masturbating. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I watched regular porn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ask this dude so, so casually. Man, I, I saw, saw it. Saw I have forgotten everything I know. <laughs> All I know Diff- no difference dif- difference between masturbation and sex yes. neurologically. So, animals also masturbate. Theory is that masturbation is kind of like a practice round for sex. Mm. So they actually masturbate to keep their sperm fresh. So if they haven't had sex in a while and they get a chance to have sex, they should have fresh sperms, not those, you know, 15 din purana sperm. Sure. <laughs> so they <laughs> sure. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no no, I mean that's what that's why we also have nightfall, right? Essentially <laughs> right, right. sperm regulatory yeah, mechanism. Correct. Mm-hmm. It's just so, a self-correcting yeah. thing. That's all it is. Yeah. Like, all right, you're not going to do it. No one else. You are out. Woo! Out with it. Yeah. So then, uh, masturbation is activating the same networks in the brain. 
Only thing is not activating is empathy. So you don't really know what the other person is thinking because it it doesn't matter. There's no other person. Mm. But sex has a lot of that on top of everything that you are doing when you're masturbating. You also do in sex. But on top of that, you have that whole reading what another person is going through. Yeah. So if you're only masturbating, probably you'll miss out on that. Oh, yeah, I was also uh, I was also hearing Huberman Labs talk about this interesting thing that when you're watching porn. you are actually watching two other people have sex yeah. mm-hmm. so you are basically you know becoming a voyeur kind of a person yeah, yeah. so but mm-hmm. when you are having sex you are in that first person view so that's why guys you should switch to vr porn <laughs> <laughs> yes it is the it has changed my life in ways i cannot explain here <laughs> basically when you are watching porn third person shooter <laughs> yeah <laughs> no but but is literally, literally third person shooter, literally third person shooter. <laughs> So sex is FPS. Okay. Sex is yeah. FPS, correct. That's a great takeaway. I love yes. that. That's the singles and doubles, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. So you have to aim and yeah. <laughs> so that that is true though, because in in porn when you are looking, uh, you kind of become used to seeing everything from a bird's eye. So people who are addicted to porn, even when they are having sex, they might be thinking of themselves and they get very self conscious. Sure. How do I look? Let's face it. Real sex doesn't look like pornography. It doesn't look good. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who's recorded themselves yeah, yeah, will yeah. know that. Holy no, shit. No, anyone who's just had it also and thought about it for two Not minutes. They'll <laughs> also know that. But you know, in in the beginning, for people who haven't had much sex, for them it can get a little. You know, it can affect their self-esteem a bit. I'll own it here, like full on. Like I mean, obviously, my first experience of sex was through porn. So the first time I had sex in my life is huge cognitive dissonance for me mm. about how different the experience was from any. thing i'd seen right it literally yeah. the difference between like fucking superhero film and me working out like yeah. like it took me a couple of days to contextualize what had happened yeah right like, the yeah. the really interesting thing about sex is that it is very old that network of sex is so old but yeah. a lot of our context is prefrontal so we have read these stories we've seen these mo- uh, movies so there is literally a conflict between your prefrontal and your limbic if you just get out of your own way your body knows what to do it is wired to do it it is born to do it but then we have so that's what porn does porn kind of messes with that old network mm-hmm. because otherwise if you see um, the descriptions of what an animal sex ritual looks like all of those things we also do like when we start thrusting or when a, the way a woman's body behaves with the way a man's body behaves everything is coded everything is already there animals do the same thing it's like when we start thinking in the middle kya acha bhi kya kar na bhi kya that really literally messes up with that old network but we need to think na we need to think ki bhai abhi pull out karna hai bhai animals don't have to think that animals don't have to think about pulling out so That's we have to thing. think of a lot of things ki how is the other person are they enjoying it are they like are in pain should right. i go slow right. but to think a lot of things so video delete karna hai <laughs> बाद में सील का भी वीडियो देखना है गॉड स्नीक द सील बैक इन टू द जू बिफोर 6 एम वो वाला मीम डालना है ही मस्ट बी थिंकिंग अबाउट अदर वुमेन और और फ्लैपी सेक्स या आई एम श्योर आर देयर एनी बेनिफिट्स टू टू नॉट मास्टरबेटिंग you want to go there all right oh wow it's not is it not like so it is such a big movement the no fab no fab thing the no fab red it started on reddit yeah, yeah, yeah. It became like uh, i think it has more than a million followers or something and the thing is that there is so much of literature around it even from a like a ancient text perspective mm. if you don't masturbate if you don't have sex in fact sex itself was such a frowned upon thing mm. it's not just masturbation not in our country honestly it, it is uh, like that whole brahmachari mm. oh, thing and their kama sutra man i know that but yeah, that's the dichotomy of yeah that's the thing correct yeah. so there is so much of taboo at the same time there's so much of sexual uh, and now so there is definitely a lot of that taboo, taboo. Uh, the problem was against ejaculation so there was a lot of text written about how you should now protect your virility protect your virility but yeah there were also a lot of sort of bad information around then about how like your virility physically carried correct like mm. things like your intellect and strength yeah. and things like that right there so is now no better hum to bolta tha ki mud maarega to pimple aayega yeah no literally the you'll go bald if you acne balding eyes sort of thing aankhe kharab ho jayengi bahut bada pimple hai shayad <laughs> bad time to have <laughs> can we can we zoom in on that for us <laughs> yeah. i have not heard that classic uh, masturbation makes you blind joke yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. your father yeah. is knocking the door the son come out don't masturbate it will make you blind son goes dad <laughs> i'm here with <laughs> no, but but then it doesn't no no so the problem is it's a it's a confirmation bias 
ek bar somebody thought of this and then every time something bad happens you will think oh did i masturbate and the chances are you did masturbate <laughs> yeah. because people masturbate all the time Fair. and so there is always that connection and once you start finding that connection you are more likely to think ha yaar sab kuch jo bura ho raha hai wo isi ke wajah se ho raha hai study after study has shown that there is no negative impact except addiction that yeah. is the one thing yeah, so yeah. if you are addicted to it get help otherwise it's all right the, one of the most amazing studies i've read was masturbation with guilt and masturbation without guilt mm -hmm. literally the guilt acts as a as a negative factor like the guilt leads to your testosterone dropping like if versus, you have a lot of assignments to do and you're masturbating if you think that if you've masturbated and what you, you just done was, was wrong, wrong so no fab leads to guilt which leads to drop in testosterone which leads to no fab that's the that's the <laughs> irony of it it that is the yeah. irony of it it's a flow chart bana de raha hai but uh, no flow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but isn't it true that if you don't masturbate then your testosterone level increases though it does so it, there is a there is a slight increase and then it plateaus it's not like wo upar jaate rahega there is a increase and it plateaus and it stays at a particular level ah. so sure but there are no fab so has many. some positive impacts bro i tried it I, i really tried it i tried it for a month but i got so horny in that time because i have like i am used to masturbating mm. a lot matlab wo seal video bhi jata tha i think i would have <laughs> finished also if there's anything the last 45 minutes have taught me is that you're okay on testosterone <laughs> No need. So you're fine. You're good. You're good. No, so here's the thing. Don't do much. I'll go to the washroom. Stop. 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 Yes. Stop. Yes. I mean, if you're so on, you you could just play like any video game, and you could get uh, you could get turned on. By Gode, go see Kittal Man. Like, the bishop's curves are very good. God, what were we discussing? Kittal, so daddy. <laughs> We were discussing uh, masturbation and porn. Mas how it's different, yeah, sex. The, the, but that's the, a crucial and important one thing, which is that like for me, what stuck with everything you said is that masturbation is lacking in empathy, and that can be like a crisis point, right? People like if that like you said, that's all you do, then you start to develop a very unempathetic relationship with sex. I imagine and your own body, because then okay. if that is all that you want, you just mm -hmm. want that pleasure of just that ejaculation, because nothing before and nothing after is really fun about sure. it. Sure. you just want that one point of ejaculation and if that is your relationship with your body then it's a very uh, drawn down version of that that's yourself, true right yeah whereas in sex there is so much more sure mm. flirting teaches you so much about social communication foreplay teaches you so patience. much about patience from <laughs> your yeah. like your own body's pleasure points somebody else's pleasure points and sex and the post sex bonding also teaches us it's so much more mm -hmm. yeah whereas masturbation is just ejaculation true mm. like literally if you could take a needle and uh, you know stimulate one part of point, your brain yeah. and you get an ejaculation yeah. that's it what if they are giving you a hand job but that would still involve some communication before or after right? ah, so that's still like it's no, still yeah. as bad as just you masturbating right absolutely yeah 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 but so, then it's not masturbating it's a sexual act it's a sexual act it's yeah. a sexual act yeah, then, yeah. right exactly. government should make a sexual act of 2022 <laughs> Like giving a hand job is such it feels like such an act of charity. Yeah. <laughs> there should be no tax on it. Giving hand job should be tax free. Like yeah, they should announce that. One yeah. second, what tax are you paying on hand job? <laughs> <laughs> what cost? No. Are you being? I want to talk to your CA. Yeah. <laughs> Bangalore prices are higher. <laughs> Even in Bangalore, Kohl Mangla is higher. <laughs> It's called early stage hand investment. <laughs> Hand job should be like under community service. Hand job should be part of community service, like तीन तीन साल जेल, दो साल साफ करेगा, दो hand job देगा. नहीं नहीं ये वो सब के लिए होना चाहिए कि you know metro का दरवाजा मत बंद करो. I'm saying laughter clubs need to pivot. No. <laughs> I mean those people standing in a circle and yeah. going. Yeah. Huh? Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're anyway moving your arms. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be a meme. <laughs> This guy is gonna. I can feel it. This is gonna be a meme. <laughs> Holy shit! Have you guys seen that scene, Masmit? Sabey. और एक और सवाल पूछ. सवाल ही सवाल है मेरे पास. हाँ, एक और सवाल पूछ. What do you think about sex toys? Hmm. What good is my dick now? 
<laughs> Bro, there is there is a product that I saw somewhere called Auto Blower. I know. I, I Auto know. Blower AI. Okay. I don't know why the AI. Why is there. AI? I don't know. <laughs> For sales. Yeah. <laughs> Auto Blower sales. AI. Okay. It's everything with AI sells. And <laughs> I saw this product and I was like, oh, what an interesting concept. <laughs> you know, sir, we are truly in the 21st century. <laughs> so the reviews on the website. Does it were do all, what it what sounds, it sounds like? like? Okay. It's um, a machine mm. that up and down and up and down. Up and down and up and down. And up and down. Mm. Uh, Dyson then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the premium one. <laughs> and like always, the best way to read reviews for a product is not on the website or on Amazon. It is to go on YouTube and say review. I, as an optimist, I look for auto blower AI review product. And still better than sales master. Steel master. Steel master. <laughs> and there are hundreds of videos of people testing this product out. Except the thing is, none of them can show their junk while they're doing it. So it's just a bunch of middle-aged American men zoomed in on their faces, in on a table, <laughs> and each review is them putting the thing below the table <laughs> and then describing what the sensation is like for ten minutes. <laughs> I have spent <laughs> then after <laughs> watching. <laughs> And I realized after watching like 10 videos, I mean, I've basically seen 10 men jerk off right now in the last 30 minutes. How long are these videos, man? Yeah. They're all 10, 10 minute videos. No. Everyone to blow success? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not a review, it's a reaction video. <laughs> Every it's review like, begins with like a packaging review. I'm like, 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 i am like 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 brain thinks that this is your body. If you use an object for enough time, it extends our sense of sure. self to involve the object. So somebody who's a football player, the football is a part of the body. So now our brain knows where is the football. And the phone is a part of everybody's body now. Mm. So if the phone is in the other room, you'll start feeling that yeah, mm. kuch to missing hai. Mm. So in sex toys, that's the thing that you can have a kind of relationship where you feel that that is part of you. So it so can replace it the human. It can replace humans as far as the uh, that momentary feeling is concerned. But anything before and anything after. It can't uh, you know pay for lunch and all. You can't pay for lunch <laughs> and you can't cuddle after that. Right? None of that. that. None of that. I mean, let's get the sex toy AI. Yeah. <laughs> in which case. Yeah. There are Japanese stores that are six stores, six floors high. First four floors are open to all genders and the top two are only for men. Because oh, apparently really? the, the things that you are, you can't even go there. But if they're so ahead in the sex and all, yeah. why do they blur the pizza? How to explain ah, you to you that that's just what Japanese vagina looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's pixelated. pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... First of all, I didn't know they do that. I haven't seen that many hentai. You are busy with your seal phone adventures. Not even hey man, the funniest. It's on the endangered list, all right? Watch it while you can. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how long. Right? There's certain animals you should just the poles enjoy. Are boring, man. Yeah. Yeah, are like, man, up until 2015, that white rhino porn was the, <laughs> just the shit. And now they're gone. Ten years later, we'll be thinking, yeah, yeah. polar bears, kya fuck. Exactly, <laughs> right? You watch now. Hmm. Not even the funniest animal porn, though. The, if you've seen turtles. <laughs> I don't got six <laughs> hours, man. <laughs> Brother. I tell you what, I, I, I had to do an entire video on sex. And so a lot of this stuff comes from that research. Sure, we believe sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you gotta yeah. believe me, what option do we have? <laughs> Bro, me home work here. <laughs> I was seeing this video huh. that uh, apparently whales are also like they have like threesomes and foursomes. Dolphins right? also have sex yeah. for pleasure. Bonobos have sex for pleasure. No, but yeah. having it multiple Bonobos partners. Bonobos are our closest least. cousins yeah. anyway. Of course, they have sex. So do seals. They don't call them orgies, though. They call them <laughs> Seal Team Six. <laughs> <laughs> So which animal are we closest to, like in having sex? Probably chimps, uh, bonobos, chimps. Of course. So they also have, um, they do almost everything that uh, they cuddle? we do. Yeah, they cuddle. Wow. Yeah, they cuddle, they have monogamous relationships and they cheat, uh, they masturbate. They Those have three sins. The smoke up. Like, yeah. <laughs> Good sins. Someone's like, I gotta hang out with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> they sound fun. Yeah. They play chess. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sure if, yeah, some I spend some time with one, I'm sure he'll get to. <laughs> 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 My favorite so sex fact that I know is that I think it's the razor clam. The cat that has one. the largest penis to body ratio. Razor? The razor clam, clam. literally like the little clam slash muscle. They have like, yeah, literally, they have like, they're, they're this big. Mm. But their dick is like 95% of their body or something <laughs> oh, like shit. that. Yeah, some crazy. Oh. Horses have Look giant that ones. Up. Horses do have giant ones. Yeah. Yeah. Razor clams are really happy in life. Razor clams are very happy in mm. life. Like, w- why would you not be? <laughs> <laughs> Any <laughs> massages happy ending? <laughs> <laughs> On the other side, uh, the cat fact. The one where they have a clamp, uh, they, they, have sp- they have a slightly spokes, spiky dick. Yeah, yeah, spokes inside to keep it in place. Wait, 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 wait. Ducks also, ducks have ducks spokes. So one second, dicks. one second, yeah, I haven't yeah, yeah. gotten over the cat yet. Yeah. Cats have spoky dicks? The tips have spokes in them, so when you, when the cat, male cat enters a female cat, it keeps it in place. So it's like a female dog. cat can't like run dog. away. Oh shit. Ah. So ducks, it's worse with ducks. They, their dicks are little corkscrew dicks. Oh. So that once it's so in, it's in like specifically and cannot be. They rotate it all. Ducks apparently very fucked up creatures <laughs> from a sexual <laughs> politics perspective. Oh really? Yeah. You read, you read a little bit about ducks and you're like, fuck you, I'm not feeding you motherfuckers again. <laughs> it's not happening. I'm Mickey Mouse guy now. <laughs> Straight up. Ducks are very ducked up apparently. Even pigeons, you know, they have sex for like three seconds, I think. They do? I have never seen a pigeon. Yeah, it. bird sex is apparently literally just like the they, seed deposited yeah, out. Yeah. Like, so they had the foreplay so much. Like, yeah, do you yeah, know yeah, about yeah. these words called birds of birds paradise? Birds of paradise. Yeah, Are yeah. Abhi planet Earth ke shaukeen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know about birds of paradise? No, so basically but, there was this island, okay. Philippines. And, yeah, and there was this bird called birds of paradise, a species of birds. And all their natural predators just got extinct. So okay. there's no one to hunt them. Okay. So they have not evolved to... Defend themselves. Uh-huh. So why are they evolved? They evolved just to impress the female. Uh-huh. So they are beautiful looking birds. They have great voices. They do they amazing do these really dances. really intricate mating like this thing. Check it out. It's quite it's something. It's crazy dude. They have yeah, like a yeah. 6-12 minute dance. Oh. The males do just so that the female yeah. gets attracted. And then uh-huh. once she gives her consent, they mate for 3 seconds and then they fuck off. Oh, okay. That's the yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah, bees die person. after sex. Yeah. yeah. The queen bee literally just goes out on a, on a one night stand flight. Yeah. Fucks around with bunch of bees who are just fl- flying around <coughs> waiting for the queen bee to come. And as soon as they have sex with her, they die. But they die because they get stuck inside and while they come out something of their body goes yeah, ahead. Yeah, part right? of their body goes in and they literally it's crumble It's a bad back. design, man. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a design Like issue, praying mantis also, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, she eats his head. Yeah. The funniest thing about... Uh, she, sex, she eats the wrong head. <laughs> I saw that joke form in your head, right? Yeah, I saw it the second he said it. First he like Come shook on. his head twice like, no, I can't. No, I control myself. Nahi, and then... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, man. Come on. How much, no, you, very good, very how good. much you would give in comic stand for this one? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, so there is this uh, mnemonic called lasso. Libido, arousal, sexual foreplay, sexual act, orgasm. Mm. This is the... Uh, the steps through which everybody has to evolve and so if any one of them is not there then you can't have sex you there's no uh, why are you whispering this <laughs> am i <laughs> damn you suddenly like, became very like you tell your secret by the way <laughs> <laughs> and while saying the most normal thing you said so far yeah. in last hour yeah. which is that you have to get aroused <laughs> then you have sex so the reason that i find this interesting is because it is literally like a cascade of hormones so mm. these is the, you you take this as normal right of course libido hona chahiye arousal hona chahiye sex can but you if you quickly just ex- explain all of these points. Fun, fun, ah, libido. Libido. libido is interest in sex. Agar interest hi hai to, even if the hottest person comes in front of you, you will not be aroused. So libido nahi hai to, arousal nahi hoga. Arousal is when you see somebody hot and you get turned on. Hmm. Wo nahi hua to, you won't even start initiating sex. Hmm. Sexual foreplay. Sexual foreplay nahi hua to, sex nahi hoga. Sex nahi hoga to, orgasm nahi hoga. Hmm. So this hmm. is like a series of events that happen very naturally. <laughs> Literally called lasso. This, this goes into shit when you're masturbating, right? Because there's directly arousal and then exactly. orgasm. Exactly. But there is libido. There is libido. Yeah. And there is arousal. So you're saying that any sexual encounter has to go through those five phases. <laughs> Each one of those stages actually has a hormone that mm. carries you through. So libido is testosterone for both men and women. Or all genders. So you think that only men have testosterone, but that's not true. So if you don't have testosterone, then you're not going to get, uh, you're not going to get interested at all. You won't even be looking Mm. for uh, sex. And then arousal is dopamine. 
and then sexual act is dopamine, adrenaline, serotonin, and then oxytocin. Uh, so it's it literally like or, hormone after hormone, mm. and each one hands you over to the next hormone. Yeah, we do some, we do some. That's kind of cool. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's sex what relay. sex is. Yeah. It's, it's sex yeah. relay, sex exactly. Relay. Yeah. And you are just the stick. That's it, literally, <laughs> you are the, the hormones doing like in guy again. <laughs> <laughs> what is the final hormone? Um, orgasm. So, there it's adrenaline and then oxytocin, oxytocin after that. After. Uh-huh. It just makes you feel all warm and nice and good. And then the vasopressin comes back. The vasopressin, yeah. For men, it's just like vasopressin is the timeout. Like uh-huh. okay, vasopressin is like bar me tube light on ho gaya, uh-huh. plastic cup dehi laga, <laughs> Pink Floyd bajne laga, chalo chalo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, vasopressin has a very specific action for everybody. Can you explain fetish from a brain point of view? Fetishes are really interesting. Um, animals don't have fetishes so much, although some. Although there are, you have a fetish for animals. That is different. <laughs> <laughs> that is different. <laughs> no, just seals, nothing else. Uh, but the thing is, it's again related to what I said about objects that we can sexualize or we can make, we can have connections with any object. Even in when it when it comes to any action or any uh, any situation, we can sexualize it if there is no threat. Okay, that is always the way fetish works. That um, you can, if you associate anything with sex, literally you could pick any glass or any spectacle, and you could pin that in a sexual context. Sure. If you want, it. like you can create a story around it, and most people would have some fetish. They may not realize it, but they may have some fetish. What's like for yours? example, oh, we are talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're comfortable, go on. For me, I, I, I like the idea of um, sharing stories. So especially if you if you've read an erotica, for example, like I love the idea of sharing that story mm. and having somebody else read it or share yeah. that story with you. So now it's literally like VR, except in real life, where you are both in a not, different is, place. Is this, not, is this not a fetish? Yeah. Sure. Just, this can cause. It, I mean, you can you can call it role play. It's a kink because uh, it's a kink. It's a kink. Sure. Kink, it's fetish. All of them What's kind the of. What's difference between a kink and a fetish? So fetishes are usually with some object. Okay. Like, usually. Got it. So like, uh, and Got kink it. is from the human body. Like a foot fetish is a kink. Yeah. Like kink can be anything that is outside of the norm. Mm. So the norm is what? Man, woman mm. of the same age group mm. or an acceptable age bracket. Mm. Sure. Married, having sex <clears throat> for children in a missionary position. <laughs> <laughs> this line is the norm. Right. Mm. Now you change any one variable. Mm. That's a... And it's a kink. It's a oh, right. I'm a so, kinky guy. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, yeah. <laughs> of course, I mean, for the longest time, uh, going down on somebody, blowjobs, masturbation, yeah. all of these were considered as kinks. kinks. In fact, when I was illegal, in, right? Like yes. in a lot of like, oral sex was illegal, basically. It was. A, it's considered <coughs> as a perversion. Yeah. So when I was in MBBS, we had a forensic medicine subject, and usme illegal sex acts ke chapter mein masturbation diya hai. Mm-hmm. Lesbianism, diya hai, gay sex, diya hai, oral sex. Diya hai. So if you're having sex in missionary position, but mm-hmm. a kid is not coming out of it, it's a kink. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you're doing it with the intention okay, okay, of okay. this all thing, right. Right. not all like sex, Yeah, because every time, time it doesn't yeah, yeah. work. Yeah. But if the intention was <laughs> every time. <laughs> yeah, but that was the first kink to be non-kinkified, right? Because yeah. that was the religious thing. Right. Christianity believed that you should only have sex ah. for procreation. Uh, you know, we grew out of that pretty long ago. Yeah. No, but, but the other things took time. Some people have like specific kinks, no, like foot fetish. Hmm. Someone has underarm fetish. Someone has some fetish. So how does a so many group of people <coughs> have the same fetish? There are eight billion people, man. Like if you yeah. have anything, you will always find at least five hundred people more. Correct, correct. With Even that. like you, let's say a TV remote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, very, yeah, sure. very rarely is someone actually unique. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's Comment that, below if you are into TV remotes, just <laughs> so we understand. No? Yeah. yeah, internet is a place where people share relatable memes to stand out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ironic part, right? Yeah, you can yeah, you can find a group one. for anything. Any any random kink you have, you will find a correct, correct, correct. You will find a group. Yeah. This is true. They should just rename Reddit to yeah, <laughs> find yeah. your kink. Just, yeah. 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 Seal team six. Yeah. <laughs> Randomkink.com. Yeah. <laughs> does having a lot of casual relationships and casual sex does it affect you in a bad way, in a way? For the long term? Yeah, this is a tricky uh, question because it kind of depends on what you associate relationships with. Mm-hmm. What is a relationship? I'm saying casual relationship, I'm saying casual Correct. sexual encounter. Correct. So if you have now started thinking of all sex as casual, 
at some point uh, would you want to have a long term committed relationship and then that would mean changing your story if your if your body thinks that all sex is casual then that becomes your story so at sure. some point if you want to change that it's the same thing with food no if you if you're used to eating pizza and burgers all day that that becomes your norm and suddenly you decide that i want to eat healthy how difficult is that switch fair yeah okay. it's the same kind of thing so your relationship with food is the same as your relationship with sex you have to change your whole narrative mm-hmm. and this is absolute therapy okay this is not even neuroscience yeah. i'm not yeah. even kidding here like yeah. this is therapy <laughs> through and through it's yeah. different so anyway <laughs> gentlemen Sama is going to be walking home today booking a therapist tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> but i really hope that was what do i resolve yeah, no, no, no. i had so many more questions man yeah we'll 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 save it all right gentlemen we're going to wrap this here there's going to be a part 2 of this uh, the next time i'm in the city again thank you very much for joining us please check out everybody on the panel on Instagram especially Dr. Sid Warrior please go follow him yes. now, I don't see you next time or as oh. his girlfriend calls him Samay Thode or Rena <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's your washroom? Yeah. Where's your washroom? <laughs> <laughs> Chalo, yeah. all that seal talk got to him <laughs> yeah he's like that's it I was waiting for Samay to come out of the bathroom with the underwear around his ankles what's the difference between a seal and a walrus <laughs> are they the same guys <laughs> I can't find it mooch wala kaun sa hai wo tha dena sikha holy shit card card every